Hi Pisces, thanks again for joining me, liking, sharing and subscribing. For those that were after personal readings, my email is listed below this video. Otherwise, uh, we'll get straight into it, Pisces. Okay, Ace of Cups, the Sun card, Queen of Cups, very nice, the Chariot, Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, with the Nine of Wands. Okay, starting off with the Ace of Cups, this is a beautiful new beginning that's being handed to you from the hand of God, the universe, spirit, <clears throat> a higher power. Especially for the water sign, this is a golden opportunity that's coming to you with the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning. So in the forms of a relationship, some of you might be entering into a new relationship or moving up, becoming exclusive, changing relationships, um, adding a new dynamic to the relationship, finding out s something more, something more deep, finding something with substance um, in your relationships, finding new meaning to your relationships as well here with the Ace of Cups. It could be a fellow water sign. You know, you have Cancer here. It could be an Aries as well. Um, strong Fire here as well. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo that's coming in here for you. If this is regarding work, then an opportunity is going to present itself within the workplace. This is something that's going to be handed to you. Now, it could be physically handed. We see a hand here a human hand, so it could be a, something that's handed to you physically, like a file, a contract, um, a project, a tape, a product, a service, etc. Um, or it could be, because I think of the Holy Grail when I think of this beautiful golden chalice here. So it could be, it could even be an idea, idea that you may um, implement, and it could be the Holy Grail, it could be a very mighty and a very wonderful idea that could prospect, a perspective, that could be a quite a prospect and could gain you lots of, you know, clientele, ideas, um, you know, support and viewership. So that's very, very nice. There's a strong religious connotation with this card as well here. So for some of you, there's a strong, there's a new spiritual awakening, um, becoming more spiritual and or religious, visiting churches, um, you know, maybe as there's, you'll, you'll be visiting planning weddings or visiting churches with a loved one. Moving on, you have the sun card. This is a beautiful card of blessings. You know, the sun, the sun is shining on you. There's children in these cards here. This is warm, feeling really optimistic, feeling open like a child. Animals and children could play a prominent part. Maybe visiting zoos, you may be visiting children, looking after children, writing a children's book. Um, being creative, being inspired by children, maybe looking after your your own children, nieces, nephews. Um, could be beautiful memories as well here with the sun card. This is blessing. So this could be fertility and pregnancy for some of you, or a child could figure very prominently. You know, you could be in this in the in the prime in this the prime of summertime if you are located in the northern hemisphere. The sun in a workplace situation shows that you're getting inspired thought and you're giving birth to new ideas. So if you're, you're giving birth to new projects, maybe you're going to start a new project. Maybe you're working on a creative idea, but you're going to get inspired for another or you're going to start working for another. But this is notoriety. Someone's There's a spotlight that's shining on you, so you're going to be commit, um, admired for your work. There's admiration here, praise, putting you in the spotlight for one reason or another. Someone looking at your work, someone reading over your work maybe with a sun card here. Could be visiting a sunny location, somewhere where it's, where it's very bright and chirpy and happy. Moving on, you have the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> this is you again. I feel like there's two holy grails here. So there's something big that's brewing for you, Pisces. There's some, there's some sort of idea or something you're really idolizing. It could be a person. 
There could be a very important person around you that is really the key to your, that will prove to be the key to your success if this is in a work situation or an idea that, or a breakthrough of some kind that could really put you into the spotlight. Also with the Holy Grail, this is someone, if this is in a relationship sector that you're holding on a pedestal that's really come into your life and changed your life. It could be a romantic partner, it could be a spouse, it could be a friend, it could be a mutual friend, it could be someone you meet with connections. But there's a, you know, this is the holy grail, so to speak, here, and you 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 have it figuring here twice. So. You know, whatever this is this that's happening around you, um, Pisces, and I, as I say and I continue to say, you are a creative bunch and there's definitely an idea, a person or something, you know, that's holding, a, that's very, um, very important to you and that you're holding very near and dear. And it's, you know, it's bringing you emotional fulfillment here because the Queen of Cups, she's optimistic, she's happy, she's high, she's motivated, you know, she's got um, one foot dipped into the water here. She's in her element and she's gazing upon this thing. So I, you might find a piece of jewelry that's very captivating. You might meet a person that's very captivating. You might read something or watch something that's very captivating here and you're just assessing it, but in a very, very happy way. You're going to be looking upon this thing very favorably. It might be a book you read. It might be a person you talk to, a conversation you have, or an experience, an outing you might even have in July, but it's bringing you emotional bliss. It's going to make you very, very happy and very fulfilled. And this is um, in the in in the workplace too. This is the holy grail. This could be a very lucrative client that's around you, but you you have it in your hands here, which is beautiful to see. You've, you've, you're holding it. You're admiring it. It's in. It belongs to you. You know. You've got beautiful angels around your throne here. Three angels, the holy grail, and this beautiful water that's around you, and it's just a feeling of hope, and bliss, and fulfillment. So for some, there's definitely a beautiful relationship that's starting out here. Or, you know, a, a change. You could be going through a really, you know, maybe you've been going through a rough period in your relationships and you're going to be, that's going to be changing and then you grow and become this beautiful, um, you know, you enter into this beautiful uh, period where it's just sunny and blissful and, and just amazing. Now, the next card over, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles talks about exchange of monetary growth, of gain, assessing of life. I mean, the Pentacles rule coins, so it could be there's a financial um, assessment that comes into play here. This could be tax. Maybe it's tax time, depending where you are. This could be assessing your finances. This could be saving money, looking at your finances. There could be um, an experience. Uh, expenses coming up or an expenditure of some kind where you're going to need a lot of money and planning something to do with your finances here with the seven of pentacles um, seven of pentacles is also um, looking at anything to do in your physical realm so the people that are around you um, the work the job that you're at um, you might enroll into study around this time you might change your job you might look into new jobs you might look at the car you have and look at um, improving the car or improving the home. It could even, even be renovating, could be spending money to help improve your physical, to help improve things that are around you in your physical realm. This could even be improvement in appearance. This could be spending money on your children if you have them or on your, um, on your hobbies, on outings even, or on your career and your successes here with the chariot card. This could also be um, con uh, jo conjoining finances with a loved one, a prospective partner. Now, uh, moving on, Pisces, you have the Nine of Wands. And what's interesting is that you have the Nine of Wands twice. Now, the Nine of Wands is this sort of, uh, well, you can see the golden scarab here. And it's about an intuition of danger. It's having your guard up. It's the need for protecting yourself, and you have it twice. So I feel this is a message for you for one reason or another. Something to do with protection, something to do with needing to be defensive or needing to stand your ground. 
You, you might encounter a person, a situation, an obstacle of some kind where you're going to need to stand your ground and you're going to need to be alert and you're going to have your guard up for one reason or another. Now, you do have the Five of Swords here as well. So for some of you, I feel as though someone could be walking away from you in a relationship or it could be that you're walking away from a workplace or that you get let go. You know, you, you might be made redundant, but the Nine of Wands is, you know, and to have it double, to have it doubled up, definitely speaks volumes that the need for protection is is here. But for some, it could be this change, it could be this new opportunity that you're just perhaps too defensive over to, to consider or to take. Um, it could be that you're defensive over finances or your assets here with the Seven of Pentacles as well. We sort of see them crisscross together. So it's like someone either can't get through to you or you can't get through to them. And if this isn't a relationship, then I definitely feel some of you are going to end, possibly end or walk away from a relationship. It could be with an air sign or a fire sign and then gain this new opportunity, potentially with another water sign. Could be an Aries as well. But I feel like there's just no getting through here with the Nine of Wands. So that's a strong sign to get them twice, to get the Nine of Wands twice here. Now, moving on, you have the Chariot. This is movement, progress, acceleration, success. This card has been following a, quite a few signs. There could be a prominent cancer that's around you. You might have a can cancerian boss, um, a sister, a brother, a family member, a colleague, a friend. This person is going to figure prominently for you and maybe this is the person you might have an altercation with or you might need to stand your ground with. This could be a partner that you might be breaking up with even. In relationships, I feel as though you're definitely taking the reins. You're definitely controlling. You might even initiate a breakup, initiate a separation, initiate a confrontation of some kind, Pisces, and you know, maybe you're not happy and you have to speak your ground and maybe there's this duality that's been within you where you don't know whether to stay or go. But for others, it's going to prove very successful, this beautiful relationship that's around you, if even if it's brand new or, as I said, a shift in the dynamic of your relationship. But I think it's you that's going to initiate it with the chariot. For those single Pisceans, you're definitely being noticed but whether or not you want to take people up on their offer is a different story. There's offers that are around you that can definitely make you very happy. But whether or not you take up these offers is your own choice. I think there's hurt and pain here with the Five of Swords. Maybe an, um, an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Maybe a Fire sign or a fellow Water sign has walked away from you. And that has left you maybe somewhat you know, puzzled and hurt. And you just want to concentrate on your career here with the Chariot. But I feel that there's people noticing you, but as I said, whether or not you take them up on their offers is a different story. Um, the chariot in a work situation shows growth, movement, acceleration, and um, uh, drive. But balance, a harmonious balance here with the black and white sphinxes. And you see the stars in his canopy here. This is There could be some sort of fated events. There might be opportunities for you to be in the public eye especially if it's, a, it's someone in a cancer sign. They may be celebrating a birthday of some kind here, an event as well here with a sun card. It could be an outdoor event that this person might celebrate here with a chariot. But there might be an idea and you're just going to hop on board and really, um, really own it, Pisces. Really, really own it here with a chariot card. So that's lovely to see. Moving on, we have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands here twice, as I've mentioned. The need to be defensive, the need to protect yourself, to protect your work, to stand guard. It could be a family altercation. It could be a relationship, um, especially reading these two cards together here. For some of you, someone's walked away and they may come back. You may hear from them. And for some of you, I feel like you just won't have a bar of it. You don't want to really listen to why they've been away, why they've disappeared, um, why they've walked away. 
or perhaps someone is going to um, ask you why you walked away or perhaps you're not putting enough effort into something and then you become this sort of uh, defensive, closed off, guarded. Because if you look, he sort of looks bandaged up here, you know, on the arm and on the head. So there's there's either past discretions here or there's someone that's made a mistake by you or has done wrong by you maybe and this is why you are the way you are and you know you're very big on emotion Pisces so you're going to remember this you're going to hold it but I feel it's something that's happened in your recent past but with the nine of ones in a work situation it's about protecting yourself this could be gossip this could be someone trying to take your ideas this could be you it feeling a little bit put off by someone around you at work. Maybe you think someone, you know, doesn't have the best intentions for you. It could be this, you know, it could be a cancer. It could be an Aries here as well that's making you feel this way. It could be defensive over finances. Maybe you're defensive over spending a lot of money on whatever it is that you want to do. Maybe you're in two minds about it, Pisces, and you can't really decide if you want to go ahead and spend this much money or you want to do something different. Now the five of swords is all about defeat, victory, walking away from something, someone that has turned their back on you or you turn their back on them. It could be an air sign. Um, it could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius that has recently left your life or returned maybe. Or it could be an air sign is, is, is leaving you in some capacity. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign. But it could be someone that you stopped talking with or you were separated with. Um, it could also be that this is when this happened. Now, if this is in regards to a relationship, there's someone that has recently walked away from you or that is wanting to walk away or there's separation here for one reason or another. It could be because of work um, situations here because of the need for work and this might cause a bit of strife and a little bit of um, angst between the two of you here with the five of swords. This could also be in a workplace, this could be that you might be walking away from a job here. But a new opportunity will present itself. You, there is opportunities about and you will definitely be noticed for your talent. So if you are looking for more work, I feel you will find it. And maybe it's, maybe it's a message that you do need to walk away, that you no longer can be the nine of ones. Or that someone that from your past may, may want to come back and, you know, you just won't, you, you won't allow them to. You won't allow them to make you feel a certain way, to make you feel hurt or pain or loss or grief or whatever you encountered in the past here, Pisces. But if he's in a work situation, it could be a business trip coming up or the need to travel. Someone around you at work might be leaving as well and you might feel very sad about this. You might feel it's unjust as to why they're leaving and why they're leaving so quickly, depending on your situation here. Okay, you have the priestess of patience. So patience is needed in a situation. You need to give yourself patience. The dates that resonate April 15th to May 12th. You know, beautiful colors of green so healing and patience maybe you've been patient for waiting on someone to return or waiting for an opportunity or waiting to finish a project or waiting to receive a new a new project or patience with finances patience maybe you're getting ahead of yourself maybe this this spending this trip this relationship isn't supposed to unfold right now maybe the more time is needed you need to give more time or maybe you need to teach yourself to be more patient to be more um, sensitive and considerate. But there's a message of patience here for you. But all in all, Pisces, I hope you had enjoyed your reading.